everyone. My name is Lauren and I am a part-time reseller. I sell all sorts of things on the internet for a profit and on this channel I show you guys how to do the same thing. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any of my new content. I've got a haul to share with you today and I have some amazing pieces to share with you so I am super pumped about that. And yeah, so let's get right into it. Actually, this is a little bit random, but um, so my earrings today, I am wearing these amazing little Tory Burch faux pearl earrings. And the reason I'm sharing that with you guys is I won the Love It or List It challenge on Poshmark, which um, if you don't know what that is, I actually still don't even fully know what that contest is all about. But essentially, if you are listing um, on a certain day and you just get randomly picked, you earn some sort of a prize. And I happened to earn a $50 credit on Poshmark. And I was always curious, like, if actual people won these or if it was just bots or people that are inactive. <laughs> but I won, which was very surprising. Um, and so I treated myself to a little pair of designer costume jewelry because I love jewelry. I'm sure that you can tell from all my videos I'm always wearing some sort of jewelry. Um, but designer costume jewelry is something that I love the aesthetic of it, but I just never buy it because it's like crazy overpriced. So yeah, I was excited to find that. Just a little random thing I wanted to share with you guys. The first piece that I'm going to share is something a little exciting for me, um, specifically because it appears to have like no flaws or missing beading. So I found this amazing silk beaded tank top, little blouse, and it is Escada, which if you don't know what Escada is, it is a very high, high end, I believe German brand. Um, yeah, it's, so it's a designer brand. Um, and yeah, and it's got all this amazing beading in this. This is insane. And I seriously kid you not, I do not think a single bead is missing, which is kind of a bit of a miracle. So I have no idea what I'm going to price this at. Uh, but yeah, I was very, very excited to find that. This next piece is just a Lucky Brand piece. Very cute. I actually bought this for myself, um, intending to keep it for myself, but it is way too big and I am swimming in it. And you're supposed to wear these a little bit on the big side, but I just looked a little ridiculous. So I am selling it. <laughs> um, I think that you can find this style still at Nordstrom Rack, so I'm not going to get a crazy amount for it, but I'm hoping for around that $50 mark. Next piece is my, my girl, of course, and that is Eileen Fisher. Um, this is another piece that I intended to keep for myself that I picked up, uh, but it is too small. It is a size small, which is not a size I really like to pick up in Eileen Fisher. <clears throat> I've talked about that before, but essentially uh, the small sizes just do not move very well for me. The larger sizes, like size large and above, are the best sizes, in my opinion, to find for Eileen Fisher. Um, but uh, her pieces tend to be a little more generous in the sizing and you know because of the whole leg and look vibe so sometimes I size down quite a bit in her pieces just if I want a different fit and um, I'm sure other people do that too but um, it's a merino wool turtleneck size small um, but it's a little bit too snug and it's too short so um, unfortunately I am selling it instead of keeping it but that's okay I will find a buyer for this piece and it does have a small little hole right there which is unfortunate but it's under the turtle mix you don't really see it and um it would be an easy fix so um yeah little Eileen Fisher piece more Eileen here she is okay now this is Eileen Fisher woman and this is a 1x so this is what I absolutely love to pick up anything in a 1x and this is a open knit like open meaning you can actually see through it um cardigan so real cute, definitely a classic Eileen style. And I'm trying to figure out what the fabric is. It is 100% linen. So I really love picking up the pieces that are linen, merino wool, cashmere, mohair, um, alpaca, all of those materials within Eileen Fisher do the absolute best. Like the cotton pieces and things like that just don't, and jersey pieces don't do the best in my opinion. Um, but yeah, definitely look for linen and look for larger sizes. 
Next up is a cavi piece. Um, I don't pick up this brand all the time, but this particular one is from spring of last year. So it's actually pretty recent and it's a really cute um, kind of current style. So it's an extra small, but it's oversized. I can wear this and it's got this like little puff sleeve and um, it's just really cute. It's like a nice little jersey material. Um, and these were actually reselling for quite a bit. And I, I believe I paid like $3 for this top. So, um, I think I will be able to sell it for like $35, $40, which is kind of crazy, but yeah, I'll take that. Next piece is a little bit of a fail, not because of the brand, but because of the condition. Um, and that is Patagonia. So this coat, um, I, I would say really really be careful with coats that are in lighter colors because looks can be deceiving in the horrible thrift store lighting that we all know exists in every thrift store it's just it's atrocious i totally missed the condition of this item and um it's going to be selling for significantly less than i really wanted it to so it's just a soft shell jacket but like all around the cuffs i don't know if you can see that it is disgusting <laughs> it's like so nasty and I mean I've washed this so it's clean it's just it's got dinginess and I'm not going to take the time to stain treat that I'm just going to sell it as is and learn from my mistakes um it's a size XL so it's a good size and it's got this kind of cute pattern I don't know if you'll be able to see that it's got like a like a botanical pattern like kind of like lightly designed within it so that's nice, but um, yeah, check. Make sure that you are triple checking those lighter color jackets because there probably is some sort of a flaw. I've got another piece that I purchased for myself that just didn't work for me, so I am reselling, um, but it should do okay. This is just a Zara piece, size large, but it is like extremely oversized. So um, I definitely have jumped on the oversized trend bandwagon i absolutely love wearing oversized now but i try to stick to free people mostly because they do oversized so well um they do it in a way that it doesn't look sloppy or like frumpy and this was totally frumpy on me but it's because it's like so oversized like i would have to probably wear a smaller and extra small for it to look okay so this could probably fit like honestly like a 4x probably like it's that big but it's this brown knit so it got a dolman sleeve cuffed well you can uncuff it but um so it's a really good style you know tunic um but yeah it was just huge on me so um especially with, you know, people wanting cozy styles and stuff for winter, staying at home, all those good things. I think that I should have no problem moving this. That's the beauty of reselling though. Anytime that I am thrifting things for myself and they don't work out, I just resell them. I at least recoup my funds and usually end up making a little bit of profit. So it's kind of a win-win. Next up is a piece that I was really excited to find because this brand has been on my bolo list for a while and I wasn't sure if I would even be able to come across something like this but I did it was a piece that was behind the counter so at some thrift stores they will put items that they think are nicer behind the counter um, and mark them up pretty significantly usually <laughs> and I was a little surprised that this piece was actually put back there but I think it's because it was new with tags so they might have you know whoever was tagging things that day must have looked up the brand and realized that it retailed for quite a bit. Um, if this was not new for new with tags, I would not have paid the price that I did. Um, but yeah, so let's get into it. So this is it, uh, turtleneck mini dress and it's distressed. So it's got all sorts of holes in it. It's intentionally made like this and it's got like a raw hem. Um, and yeah, so it was $28 and when I saw it from afar, I thought, okay, this is either like a Fashion Nova piece or it's something that's expensive. It's not going to be anything in between. <laughs> it's going to be expensive or it's going to be, you know, garbage fast fashion. And, um, lo and behold, it is actually Lovers and Friends. So if you have not 
heard of this brand before. It is a Bolo. Please be on the lookout for this brand. It is incredibly trendy right now. I believe it is sold like on sites like Revolve, um, but definitely expensive, definitely retail for a lot. So somebody just purchased this and never wore it, donated it. It's kind of crazy. So I paid $28 for this. I am projecting this will sell around $100 at least so I'm um, very happy with those margins um, if it did not have the tags with it it would not have resold for nearly as much so I would not have paid the $28 I might have paid like $10 um, if it didn't have the tags but super excited to find this brand and try it out um, I need to get this listed immediately which by the way everything here is going to be listed in my Poshmark closet in my eBay store so if you're interested in purchasing any of them if it's not there you can't find it that means it probably has sold next up is so I'm gonna apologize because this piece is a little linty I need to delint it um, but this is a brand that I personally love I have a lot of these pieces in my personal collection um, and the, the quality of this brand is just superb it is crazy expensive retail um, and it doesn't honestly have that great of a resale value. There are certain pieces that are just really special and I think are going to command that higher price point. And this is one of them. So this is Vince. Love Vince. So like I said, there's lint and there's like little hairs and all sorts of things, but it's this beautiful jacket. So this is leather. This is so... It doesn't say if it's lamb leather or not, but it is soft, you guys. It is luxury. Like, this jacket... Sorry, it's, like, washing me out because I'm black and black. But um, this jacket probably retailed close to $1,000, maybe, um, I'm thinking, um, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> um, and I paid... Let's see. I'm trying to remember. I paid $11 for this jacket, which is crazy. Um, so, yeah, other than needing to lint delintify it and there is a little bit of wear like just like um spots on the cuff that are just kind of losing the color but that is a very easy fix if this was in my size this is a piece that i would absolutely keep um but it's not unfortunately it's a size small which is a size that i find quite often in these higher end brands um but that's okay you guys so um yeah definitely somebody wants this this is a classic style really excited that i found that I've got some Madewell to share with you. Size medium. This is a corduroy little jumper thing, layering piece. I thought this was so cute. I really I had a hard time leaving it. Madewell is that brand that I just keep picking up and um, it doesn't resell for a ton, but I love it. The styles are great. <laughs> um, this should do okay. I didn't pay a ton for it either. Um, I think like around like that five, six dollar mark. Um, but I just thought the style was just too cute. Um, it's just a great, you know, layering piece that I think somebody, somebody definitely wants. It's a size medium. I think I said that already. And yeah, love this. I've got some Lucy to share with you. Lucy is like an athletic brand, kind of yoga, athleisure, that type of stuff. Um, so this is just a little pop over top, um, one quarter zip. Um, real cute, very good condition, um, really great athleisure wear piece, which is something that I have said before that I am actively trying to pick up more of because it is doing very well right now. This is another great um, outdoor active brand to keep your eye out for. This is Marmot. And this is just like a base layer type piece. So it's very basic. Um, I got this on a half off sale day. So I paid, I believe, dollar 25 for it so that's a very reasonable cost of goods um and yeah so i was really excited to find that the jackets do the absolute best my daughter has a marmot jacket that i found at the outlet and it is such good quality i can definitely see why people really love this brand and yeah so keep your eye out for marmot if you have not found it before next piece is gorgeous love this um this is a um anthropology piece so it's an actual by anthropology so it's a newer uh a newer piece and um so this is their in-house brand just a really cute um you know textured knit um slightly cropped sweater i just thought this was so cute and 
Um, I thought it would be great, um, like a great bundling piece in my closet for somebody. Um, it's a little oversized, very trendy, very Parisian chic. I love it. Next brand is a another, I would say this is a Bolo brand. This is 360 Cashmere. So I believe that the higher end of this brand is Skull Cashmere, but I will correct myself here if I am incorrect with that statement. Um, but most of their pieces are cashmere. There are some pieces that I have found that are not 100% cashmere and those don't do as well. Um, this one, I'm going to just double check really quick. I believe it is 100% cashmere. It is. Um, and it's a cardigan. It's a size small, but the style you guys is so cute. It's this like kind of boho Southwestern, which anytime I find prints like this, they do extremely well, kind of no matter what brand they are. Um, but yeah, it's going to help that it's, it's got a lot of things going for it. It's cashmere, it's boho, it's a cardigan, it's cozy, it's cute. Um, and this retailed for quite a bit of money. Um, so yeah, this is a Bolo brand to watch out for, for sure. I believe I paid $8 for this well worth paying for that. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to price it at just yet, but it's going to be high for sure. This next piece is just John and Jen. You can buy this at like Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack and stuff like that. So this isn't going to retail for a ton, but it was on a half off date and was like a dollar. And I am actively picking up higher dollar pieces, higher end pieces, but I just threw this in because again, I've had this vision of this being a bundling item in my closet. I am trying to make it a goal to make more bundle sales on Poshmark this year because that's just a great way to, you know, captivate the audience a little more, especially if they can buy more than one piece in your closet. So um, it's a good size too. It's an extra large and it's just a basic knit kind of over slightly oversized sweater, but with these cool sleeves on it. Um, I just thought it was cozy and cute and yeah, so hopefully somebody wants this. I think it's a really cute style. The next two pieces are actually uh, the same brand that is Patagucci, aka Patagonia. Both a size small. There's this one and there is this one. They are flannels, men's flannels. Uh, so yeah, I haven't tried the men's flannels of Patagonia before. Generally, pretty much anything Patagonia I will pick up if it is a low enough price point, but not all Patagonia pieces are created equal, like in every brand, and not everything that you find is going to be worth picking up. So um, I have no idea what these are going to go for. I thought about lotting them together, but um, I think I'm going to keep them separately, but I'm going to list them at the same time so that if somebody's interested in bundling them or buying them together, they can, and I can give them a little bit of a better deal. But yeah, Patagonia, great brand, cult following. It's been around for a long time. <laughs> Definitely a brand you want to keep your eye out for. Another outdoorsy brand, and this is my first time finding this one, another Bolo. This is Icebreaker. I was stoked to find this, even though this is just a little, you know, button up top. It's extremely well made. I can see why people love this brand. Um, it's got this venting in the back here. Um, it's got this like interesting, so it's got these like patches or like this lighter material under the armpits and I'm assuming <clears throat> that's to kind of uh, wick some moisture away. There was a flaw on this piece and I'm not finding it. It's like the beginning of a like a pinprick hole on the back somewhere but I still think that this is going to sell for quite a bit. Um, I paid two dollars for this top and I'm really excited to get it listed. This next piece is a Bolo. I've talked about this brand before. It's one of my best selling brands. It has a hundred percent sell through rate for me. Um, and this piece, when I saw it, I knew it was going to be good. I just saw the pattern and then I saw the brand and about passed out because I'm so excited. <laughs> Not really. That was a little dramatic, but I was just very excited you guys. Okay. So this is Peruvian Connection, so memorize this tag. This is a Bolo brand, you guys. And so what size is this? This is an extra large, and it's a duster cardigan. But do you see this print? This print is insane. So good. This is such a good piece. I, I have no idea what I'm going to list this for, I, but it's going to go for a lot of money. Um, I paid $6 for this. I would pay... $12 for this. I'd even pay a little bit more than that for this because this is such a beautiful, unique piece because this is a brand that even the basics go for a lot of money. Um, so I, guys, I was, I was stoked to find this. It was, 
it's amazing. I, I love this brand. Bolo for sure. If you have not found it, Peruvian Connection, pick it up. The last piece I'm going to share is a epic fail. It's not too epic because I can resell it. I paid a dollar for it. Um, but it's one of those things that <laughs> It's like, why, why did you grab this, Lauren? I think that this was a piece that I meant to put back and then just ended up in my cart. But again, it was a dollar, so that's okay. Um, this is DL 1961, which was very popular for a long time. Isn't so popular right now, but it does sell for me. Um, and these are teeny, teeny, tiny. But that's because they are children's. <laughs> so they're children's. It's size 12. There's no way that this is an adult size 12 because I'm a size 12. And I could not fit into these. Um, they're very tiny, uh, so, um, but it's a cute style, very cute. So, um, I've said this before, but I really don't like picking up kids clothes. They don't sell for a lot and yeah, I'm just, I'm not into it. So, um, hopefully somebody wants these because I'm listing them. Uh, yeah, uh, probably like very low sale, like probably 10 to $15 if I had to take a guess because it's a children's item and it's I don't know how many people are looking for children's DL 1961 jeans but I guess we will find out I almost totally forgot about these handbags that I wanted to share with you guys um this first one is a Y2K coach um you know very classic early 2000s style um, it's actually in really great condition. I found this at the bins. This is like a piece that I've just kind of uh, hid away for a while until I had enough leather pieces to clean and get listed. Um, typically, that's what I do with shoes, handbags, and belts. I just kind of, you know, gather so many so that I am doing like one cleaning batch at a time. Um, that's how I like to do things. I like to batch list, batch clean, um, you know, all those things just because it makes me a little more efficient. There's just a little bit of discoloration on the inside. Um, I don't know the style offhand, but with Y2K being very hot at the moment, hot trend, which is something I never thought I would ever hear myself saying, <laughs> but um, yeah, definitely a good bins pickup. I would not pay like regular thrift store prices for this because they don't resell for a ton. So yeah, just keep that in mind. This next piece was also a bins find. This is a Michael Kors. So this is actually a really cute bag. I'm not personally a huge fan of Michael Kors pieces, um, but this style is very cute and this is a popular style. It's pebbled leather. There's just a little bit of wear to the handle. So like the piping is kind of disintegrating, um, but it's definitely still usable. I think somebody still wants this for sure. And again, at Ben's prices, I can't really pass that up. So the actual last piece I'm going to share with you guys today is a Dooney and Burke little nylon tote. This piece actually came from a regular brick and mortar thrift store and it was out with the regular purses. Um, somebody missed it, but I noticed the little duck right here and it knew what it was right away. Really cute um, little just wipeable nylon tote. Um, the handles have quite a bit of a patina on them, but that is super normal and not a big deal. It's got this little snap at the top and it's got this amazing bright lining on the inside great bag. This would actually be a really good diaper bag. It would be a good work bag. Um, and uh, another way to tell that it is authentic. So Dooney and Burke will always have this little tag on the inside. And then this little, there will be a number on the back. Oops. There will be a number on the back as well. Um, and this is extremely well made. So I know that this is authentic. Um, and this piece in particular, I paid $6 for. So I was very excited to find that. I'm happy to pay that price for this. Don't know for sure what this is going to sell for, but um, yeah, I was excited to find that. Thank you guys as always for watching my videos and supporting my channel. It really means a lot to me. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, that really helps the YouTube algorithm and helps get me bumped up. Um, and I'm really trying to grow this channel as much as possible in the year of 2021. Um, and I want to be helping you guys as much as possible too. So please let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see more videos like this, what your favorite item was in the haul. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.